buy every fucking Benz created. Uh, buy every Benz under the sun. You know, so like when me and my partner Daniel started the collection, you know, we made sure that we were looking for pristine cars at first and we didn't want a headache of like having cars to have to restore and, you know, we wanted just to have a pristine collection, but we knew that wasn't a realistic part of the culture. So, you know, you can see in this video, we're making an effort to go out of our way to get cars that are beat up, but not too far gone so we can bring them back. Yeah. I don't know about uh, that. More about just I could have got a dope spot for, for the budget. For what you yeah. yeah. Just wasn't looking, I wasn't he's just concentrating on this shit, bro. This is how this becomes this. I'm doing it 24 7. It's, it'll come off, it's straight, bro. Right now we just washing down the car. It's a little dusty, so we just getting it cleaned up. We got some little paint blemishes up here. We gotta do some paint correction over there. Unfortunately, you know we're in Florida, so we got caught in the rain. You know, ain't no telling what this Florida weather does. On this day, we uh, acquired um, one 600 SL with uh, AMG body kit on it out of Canada. We pulled it out of a field. Uh, it was essentially pulled out of like a back of like somebody's warehouse in a field. Is it destroyed? It's dirty, you know, a little TLC, a little bit of work go a long way. It had, it, it had rust, uh, it had rust on the hood and a lot of dents all over the place, but you know, we could salvage certain parts out of it. And also, you know, for the YouTube channel, we thought about a lot of these cars, people don't want to just see you getting a pristine car and just sitting in it and driving it. They want to see more, they want to see a mission, they want to see a, a journey that the car went through, you know, some type of story behind it. So you've been doing this long, man, restoring them and stuff, or? Yeah, we're just starting. We're just building like the facility, getting all the cars in, there's a lot of work, so. Right, right. We haven't had time really to start anything yet. Knowing, you know, how I used to go and look for videos and view uh, YouTube content when it came to cars, we would look for things that were like more interesting. Oh, this car is rotten, this car is, has mold in it, this car is destroyed. Look how we bring it back to life, man. We got two cars, a 600 SL AMG and a 320 CE convertible uh, with a special paint and special interior out of Japan. Both cars actually came out of Japan, originally made their way to Canada and then from Canada made their way to Florida. And um, you see me talking to um, the delivery guy and I'm just explaining to him how, you know, we have a lot of pristine cars, but we like to grab cars like this too, just to make it a project and make it entertaining and also to challenge ourselves with it, you know? Uh, we know this is a big part of the culture, uh, restoring these cars, a major part of the culture. So we want to participate in it and show people that it's possible. And we're down to do that too. It's not just a one-sided thing. This right here, you know, this is the, the warehouse that we had previously before we got the big, big, big house we got now. As you can see, you know, we had a lot of the cars in there, all temporary storage, stacked in there randomly with no order. We had them there for a few months and, you know, as you'll see in the next videos coming up, we moved everything to the big house where everything is located right now. 